Hello everyone. Today we will test the zero water filter. Zero water filter goes through five stages of advanced filtration. Here are the five stages. The filtered water is supposed to have a pure taste and a TDS of zero. This is supposed to show zero water compared to other water filters. It is certified certified to reduce lead and PFO slash PFOS. It can hold up to 10 cups of water. In addition, the package includes a water quality meter and the filter is BPA free. First, we need to remove the lid and water reservoir from the top of the pitcher and remove the filter from packaging. Remove branded film or blue cap. Here is the filter. and we have to remove this blue cap. Now, second is the cleaning instructions. Clean your device in warm water using mild soap, then rinse and dry thoroughly. Additionally, rinse the exterior of your filter with warm water for 30 seconds. Reminder, Please rewash your device with each filter change. For step 3, we need to twist the filter into the bottom of the reservoir from below and tighten the filter to obtain a complete seal with the reservoir. Do not drop the filter in from above. Tighten until there is a complete seal between the filter, a ring, and reservoir. So we have to take this out and put the filter from below and tighten. This should be tight enough. Now we need to fill the reservoir by pouring cold water directly into the filter and place the lid on top. Allow all the water to pass through the filter before filling again. We need to fill this up to the top. Now let's take it here and put the lid back on. For the last step, we need to pour the dispense using the spigot to fill our cup or glass once the reservoir has emptied into the body. I am also going to pour some tap water into these two cups to compare. First, let's pour some tap water into the pH cup. Now, let's pour some tap water into the PDF. We will be using their TDS tester 
that was inside the packaging. First, let's test the original tap water before filtration. Turn on the TDS tester. Make sure it says zero. Let's open the lid and put it in. I'm going to hold it so it keeps this response. Right now it is 323. That is hard water with high TDS content. I'm going to set this aside. Now let's test the pH level of the original tap water. Let's do two to three drops. I'm going to stir it a little for a better result. Right now it's around an 8. I am going to blow into the water and see if the results change. The results changed to around a 7 now. 7 is neutral pH. Now let's test the water hardness. We need to take out one strip and put it in the water for 3 seconds without motion. Now let's compare the strip to the chart. I give this a 250. This is hard water. Now let's test the TDS, pH, and water hardness for the filtered zero water. Turn on the TDS tester, make sure it says zero, and put it in. The TDS is at 24. Over here, it says to change the filter once the TDS is higher than 006. It's either the filter didn't have time to work properly or it didn't work properly. Now let's test the pH level. Do two to three drops. Let's stir it a little for a better result. Right now it's close to a seven. I'm going to blow into the water and see if the results change at all. After blowing into the water, the pH level went from a 7 to around a 5, which is acidic. Lastly, let's test the water hardness. The water hardness for the original tap water was around 250. Let's put it in the water for 3 seconds without motion. This one almost didn't change color at all. It's in between 0 and 40, which is 20. This means it is soft water. I think the filter did well at decreasing the water hardness and TDS, but I think that our tap water was such high TDS that it was difficult to make it to all the way zero, but even 24 is still pretty low.